Well, enjoy him while he's here, folks, because you never know if this will be the last time we see Nate Diaz in the UFC with a fan base really as big as any fighter in the sport. Diaz is back tonight, and we're glad to see him. Stop, stand up. <laughs> this guy has a cult following. He is one of the most interesting guys in the UFC because he has this sense that he really doesn't care to be here but he also doesn't feel as comfortable anywhere but in the octagon. So it's a love-hate relationship with fighting for Nate Diaz. When he's happiest, when he's best, he's fighting in the UFC. A guy that boxes, unbelievable, but I think it's the attitude of Nate Diaz that has made him into one of the biggest stars that we've ever seen in the octagon. He had a couple of life-changing paydays against Conor McGregor, the win at UFC 196, the majority decision loss at UFC 202. Which to this day he says he won, right? He thinks he won that <laughs> fight. But one thing goes without saying, and I'll say it anyway, when Nate Diaz fights, the world is watching, and that is the case yet again here tonight. Colby Covington maintained status as one of the best welterweights in the world. He is absolutely one of the best welterweights in the world. And a lot of times people mistake the talk and the persona for Colby not being able to be a fighter. Colby Covington is a fantastic fighter, and he will get in your face from the moment the official, or the moment the referee says fight, and the pace, and the cardio, and the work rate that he will push on his opponents is enough to break guys. Guys that are traditionally known as phenomenal cardio fighters like Rafael Dos Anjos melt under Colby Covington. He is a great fighter and a very, very hard worker. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Diaz is three years his senior. He is one inch taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing the first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Colby Chaos coming time! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Fight. You see that a lot of times with wrestlers versus grapplers, right? The wrestler gets on top. He's got this strong base, and the grappler can't move him. He ends up stuck down there, wasting time. The wrestler starts to advance position and get grounded on off. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Covington gets caught with that punch. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice jab by Covington. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Covington gets caught. 
caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have landed for Colby Covington. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Wow. Diaz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice counter shot there. Pretty good right hand. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. He loaded up on that right hand, too. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. That was a jab. Oh, pretty good handiwork on the feet there from Colby Covington. Doesn't get enough credit for the striking, but it's certainly on point tonight, champ. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nice kick. These guys are good Whoa! at it. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! 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 And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Woo! <laughs> You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Colby Chaos Covington. Well, we...